Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuit analysis. Solve the problem number 14. Let's consider this network consisting of five resistors labeled R1 through R5, along with one independent current source and two independent voltage sources. Additionally, we can observe the presence of a dependent source especially a current controlled current source. The question now is to calculate the current IX is the current through the resistor R4. Let's move on to the solution. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are five meshes. This is mesh 1, mesh 2, mesh 3, mesh 4 and mesh 5. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh currents in this network and I will consider I1 is the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2, I3 is the current in mesh 3, I4 is the current in mesh 4 and I5 is the current in mesh 5. All the mesh currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. After we finish the assignment of the mesh currents we need to remove the two branches contain the independent current source IS and the dependent source 2IX. Then we obtain our super mesh. Let's start first by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law. In the super mesh we can write R2 I2 minus I1 plus R4 I4 plus R3 I3 minus I5 is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain finally negative 4i1 plus 4i2 plus 4i4 plus 2i3 minus 2i5 is equal to 0. Let's move on now to mesh 1. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 1, we can write negative VA plus R1 I1 plus R2 I1 minus I2. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain negative 1 plus 6I1 minus 4I2 is equal to 0. Let's move on now to mesh 5. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 5, we can write R3 I3, uh, I5 minus I3 plus R5 I5 plus VB is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain 2I5 minus I3 plus 1 is equal to 0. We currently have three equations with five unknowns, which means we require two additional equations to solve this problem. In order to get the two other equations, let's focus on the current source IS. We can write IS is equal to I2 minus I4. We know that IS is 3 amps. We obtain I2 minus I4 is equal to 3. Let's focus now on the current on the dependent source 2IX. We can write 2IX is equal to I2 minus I3. And we know here that from here that Ix is equal to negative I4. If we replace that in the first equation, we obtain negative 2 I4 minus I2 plus 3 is equal to 0. After we finish applying the, the super mesh analysis, we obtain four, five equations with five unknowns. Let's start first with the question 4. From equation 4, we can write I2 is equal to 3 plus I4. And here we express I2 in terms of I4. And from equation 5, we can write I3 is equal to 2 I4 plus I2. If we replace the equation A in B, we obtain I3 is equal to 2i4 plus 3 plus i4. If we continue simplifying this, we can write i3 also in terms of i4 is equal to 3 plus 3 i4. From equation 3, 
we can write i5 is equal to i3 minus i1 over 2. And if we replace c in d, we obtain i5 also in terms of i4 is equal to 2 plus 3 i4 over 2. And from equation 2, we can write i1 is equal to 4i2 plus 1 over 6. And by substituting a in f we we can write i1 in terms of i4 is equal to 13 plus 4i4 is equal over 6. Now by substituting a, g, c and a in 1 we derive one equation in terms of i4. If we continue simplifying this equation we obtain finally 44 plus 50 i4 is equal to 0. That means i4 is equal to negative 44 over 50 we get negative 880 milliamps. We know that ix is equal to negative i4 that means ix is equal to 880 milliampere. After completing the calculation we conduct a simulation using the spice to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here our network drone in SPICE simulator. We can see here this is the independent current voltage source VA, VB and the, dip, the independent current source IS and here is the, con the current controlled current source resistor R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. I connect here a number meter to measure the current Ix. If I go to analysis, DC analysis, calculate nodal voltage, we can see here that Ix is equal to 880 milliampere, is exactly the same value we have done by calculation. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as as possible. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video. Take care and bye bye.